what happened and why you decided to open the Fab Lab? Well, <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to open up a Fab Lab by yourself. So the idea was really to find other people who are equally interested in this topic. So in Germany, there was kind of maybe a scene of people who were more these kind of classical electronic nerds. So yeah, you first had to find people who were looking for the same kind of stuff and you spread the word. And we have people of very different backgrounds. So we have the classic nerd who, who built their quadcopters. We have now crafters. We have lots of kids coming around which just learn technology. We, we building a kind of a bike which has a laser and a 3D printer mounted on it so we can uh, cross the city and, and go, go to places, show people the thing, have them make things. First of all, you have the global movement, which is uh, like all these ideas that are freely shared. And so you see somebody does this in, uh, in the US and then open sources it so you can do it here. But at the same time, you have much more this kind of local community building which happens. This is the amazing stuff now. We are now uh, over 100 members. And so you suddenly get to know people that have been living in your neighborhood and uh, you didn't know that they're actually doing the same stuff as you do. So I like the idea that you can repair your own stuff, build your own things. It's this kind of counterculture for this consumerism. Why you will participate, if you will, to the Make a Fair Rome? Oh, it's, it's super inspirational to see what other people are doing, to exchange ideas, to, I mean, and to feel this community. Oh my God, I'm not the only one that has weird ideas, so they are even weirder ideas. So I think that's the fantastic part of me meeting physically and not just virtually on the internet. Mm -hmm.